All right, a live look in at Hector International Airport. Still a few clouds lingering in the FM area. It's cool, but not as windy as it was for much of our day. We're down into the upper 30s now, 39, 28. That dew point of wind down to 10 miles per hour. Still from that northwesterly direction. Moorhead right now, you have 37. Grand Forks, 36, 31 in Devil's Lake. And where you see this trail of light blue, blue colors there, low 30s and a few upper 20s already there. Bismarck holding off at near 50 degrees. It is 30 in Bedette and 36 in both Detroit Lakes and Fergus Falls. A breaking up of the clouds in northern Minnesota. A few snow showers just north of the international border could skirt near our northernmost counties. That clearing trend continues to be stuck out here just off to the west, but that's not bad news because these clouds, they act like that cozy blanket to keep some of our daytime heat from escaping so quickly. And that's a good news uh, sign for overnight low temperatures. More on that in a second, but taking a look at what's going on with our jet stream, the upper level river of air, if you will, uh, that is right now flowing as you see this trail of clouds up into parts of northern Canada and then diving south right through the Fargo area here. All over here out to the west, we have a nice warm bubble or dome of air, if you will, and some of that is heading our way. Uh, we'll talk about how long it stays here momentarily, but for tonight, we expect the skies to at least partially clear for many of us, allowing temperatures to dip down into the 20s. The best chance of that will be where it's been clearest, longest, mainly to the west. Out to the east, you will cool into the 20s as well, but you don't have as far to dive as your neighbors to the west do. The winds first thing in the morning, not too bad. We should see some of that sun early in the day. We won't warm up a whole bunch by the time we get to your lunch hour, so it'll still be cool enough for that jacket as you're heading out the door for lunch. Mid 30s for many, upper 30s to near 40 in the far south. How about your afternoon? Well, in western Minnesota, temperatures are going to rise warmer than today for most of you. But we're talking mid and upper 30s now as opposed to low to mid 30s today. It's along and south of Interstate 94 in southeast North Dakota where we'll have that best chance at seeing a 50 degree temperature for tomorrow. So a nice little warm up over today is not uh, uh, too impressive. However, by tomorrow evening, we cool off with clear skies and temperatures dipping down into the 30s. So your evening activities will be cool once again. 28 to start your day. Light winds out of the north. They shift and become southerly. That allows temperatures to warm up nicely into the low 50s for Fargo. A shot at 50 degrees across portions of southeast North Dakota. Bemidji, 37 again. 37 degrees in Roseau and War Road. 41 for Detroit Lakes and Fergus Falls in the mid-40s tomorrow afternoon. Here's a great picture Dan uploaded from rural Norman County. Just beautiful colors in the still waters. Thanks for taking the time to upload your photo at valleynewslive.com. Now let's take a look at the real great numbers. As we start out uh, our Thursday, temperatures will be in the 30s, but we are on our way to the upper 60s for many in the south. A very nice day, a lot of sunshine, and uh, well, you better enjoy it because a cold front moves through on Friday. Temperatures will be falling from that 53 you see there around midday into the 40s. And if you are heading out to do some tailgating, have that coat. It'll be breezy. 32 degrees. Pardon me. First thing in the morning. It's hard to say. The clump. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, 44 degrees uh, for Saturday's high. We warm up a little bit to close out the weekend. But boy, Thursday sure looks nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure does.